Uh, we got some Mayan consultations. Is that what that is? Mind consultations. Okay. We got some general supplies. Yeah, there's a lot of little stores around, a little, little, just little things. Um, do, do, do. sorry, I'm making a token for something. No worries. Yeah, I knew that was going to be massive. You know when you look at a token and you're like, when I put this on a map, it's just going to be like a 20 by 20. All depends on the pixels, I find. Yeah. Well, feel free to move around. Um, this place is, like, this isn't the only area, you know, if you mm -hmm. keep moving around, like, you'll you'll find different areas. Um, uh, we can go back to your bodies if you'd like. What? Sorry, I'll, I'll mute myself in chat. I was like, did Matt make bodies? <laughs> I, was about to be, I was like, what the? Who are you murdering? <laughs> I was like, what did I miss from last session? Um, uh, so, so I was going to say to Siri, it looks like we could use some. Accommodations, don't you think, sir? She's a, and she's just gonna be like, I, I mean, there's court, doom cool quarters on the station. I mean, something more private for um, research purposes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a roll for her real quick. She's like, you. Coming on to me, I can't tell if you're being actual research or being flirty. Ah, uh, why can't I be a little bit of both? But I meant for research. <laughs> Stop that. It's weird. Uh, I'm, I don't like talking about my past. Or what I do. I wasn't asking about your past? <clears throat> you, you good? I'm good, I'm good. But still, okay. would you be interested in finding something with me? Research stuff? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm always interested in research. It's my life. It's what I do. Yes, I'm sure we'll be on this station for a while, and you don't have oh. your lab anymore, so... They did say this is going to be our new, you know, posting Base, between Based of operations. Yeah, so we're definitely going to be here long term. Yes. So yeah, I guess getting labs would be good, but I'm kind of out of money for rent on that. Myself. I have some cash from salary we can at least put down a month's worth and figure it out to that you know there's a there's a lot of guards thanks to your friends <sighs> right up here. this was not my intention for them to um act like themselves but um we'll act work like on that themselves it. such a phrase as a reminder this place is supposed to be very busy Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm just, you know, walking through people. Not walking literally through people, but uh, walking around, I suppose. Just... You know, it did just remind me that I meant to... I think it's this one that I was after. Yeah. <sighs> people noises. People noises walking yeah, down the have... hallway. I can't tell if that sounds working. Why is my music down again? It is playing, but I can't really hear it myself, and that's probably because I. Oh, I hear things now. You know, I'm, I'm messing with it a bit. Well, anyway, it's just like, you know, supposed to be busy space 
you know, space mm-hmm. station noises. I'll just kind of leave that going. I don't know if that... I don't feel like digging with it. No worries. And it's like, you know... As you're just kind of winding your way through people, it's like... Well, I mean... It's a nice enough station. Kind of roomy, right? Uh, so we got to look on the outside of it, right? We kind of get a general idea of how big this station is. It's actually fairly large. Um, yeah. Basically, the way it's set up is it used to be, like I said before, it used to be a mining station, right? Mm-hmm. Since then, they've kind of been tacking shit onto it. So over time, it's gone from mining station to, you know, this sprawling complex. It's grown over time. Is that all nothing but those weird spaceship? Okay. Is this some Sorry, got... Mass Effects uh, Citadel stuff? Yeah, that's what was just popping in my head. It's one of the ones off of the actual, um, like, the tabletop audio. I might find a different really? one. Because this is, yeah. This is, like, straight off tabletop audio on the thing. Hmm. <sighs> Whatever, I'm not going to worry about it, really. <laughs> it's all good, um, Right, so... Yeah, no, you guys are making your way through. and it, So, it initially, it looks like what it used to be when you first look at it. A big old mm-hmm. fuck, uh, uh, fucking spaceport that it looks very just... We set this up to do its job, and that's it, you know? And then it starts sprawling off of itself heavily as it goes from the parts that are very utilitarian, very obviously just there to have the basic necessities to have the uh, the star base into, well, now it's sprawling out to have what looks like an entire casino wing, things like that. The commerce So it looks side. almost... It almost looks hodgepodge in the way it is. Very definitely planned, like, moving off from that first section, so it's not just random wings or anything. But it's very clear that it was never originally designed to have all the things it has now. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Siri, (laughs) how... Siri, how about I go find us a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Some, some access. I don't, so does my character know, like, did we go through the process of getting user IDs and clearance for these user IDs? So where you can go oh, places? You have, you have basically no allowances as to what you can do around here. That's what I this, figured. This place is owned by a private individual that bought it from Star Strider Industries, and they ain't real looking to let other people have access to things if they don't have to. You're a guest on the station, you're marked that way, and that's about it. You are Doomco, so there are certain discompensations. D- ah, I just lost the word for the, the discompensations. That they have made in regards to you. Because asking Doomco to leave their guns at the door is very unreasonable as far as Doomco's concerns. Security concern. Yeah, you don't ask Doomco to disarm. They give you weird looks and the guns stop looking so standby if you catch my drift. Yes. So, you know... And they do have a commerce, uh, a little commerce thing, a little shop here on station, an office, that's the word. So, you know, they they do have their armed security guards here as well. 
Um, you do have directions to the Doomco office, but you're not expected to be there on your first day or anything. Mm-hmm. You will be acting as security for the location um, between missions, though. So you will be there semi-regularly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, like, you, you don't really, like, you have your normal ID stuff that you're assigned by Doomco, and that's really it. Silk, so I was just uh, saying to Siri, if we could get some more higher clearance for this place, maybe not uh, on our own, say, maybe not attach it to our own IDs, but maybe find one that's um, still in the system. Are you suggesting we, like, steal an ID so we can go around places we're not supposed to? More like I'm down, but it, you know, I'm just curious. More like give um, uh, not necessarily stealing. More like uh, finding something that was lost and making uh, it ours. Creative. Uh, what's the word? Not creative ownership laws, but uh, maritime salvage. That sounds good to me. We are kind of like in space, so it's that's like the same. I mean, we're definitely. I mean, okay, what are they gonna do? Bring us to court? We're in space, in a wild space. Oh, they'd probably just shoot us. Yeah, no. Let's try to have that not happen to us. We need to look, oh, we're Doomco now. I'm but we need to big make, make things. Either on the books or off the books, if you know what I mean. No, no, I got you. I got you. But I'm just saying, we're Doomcoat, so they're not going to shoot us. Probably. Yeah, more like a fine. Most likely. Yeah. Or Doomcoat will shoot us. I don't know. I've heard a lot of things about that. In the meantime, um, let's find a place to rent. Right, right, right. Where do we do that? That's why I brought up the question of access in the first place. If I could just get more information on these systems. Find a console, maybe. So, as you're, like, bringing that up and talking about it, like, everybody has, like, you know, personal, uh, the PDAs that they have, mm -hmm. the personal assistant devices that are just like, uh, effectively cell phones. They're just, you know, futuristic cell phones, effectively. Um, it is well known that at, like, targeted advertising is extremely well known. Doomco mm -hmm. itself uses it. Uh, as you're talking about information, you will have an ad pop up on yours for mind consultation. And it will be uh, invitation only, quote unquote. And that's all it says is for answers to questions, mind consultation. Invita um, but not, but not by invitation, by... Consultation? Appointment. By appointment oh. only. Yeah. Okay. That I was trying to find the word appointment, <laughs> and I was failing. So uh, Silco will uh, click the ad and uh, make an appointment. The soonest appointment is roll me a luck test. Let's see if that's actually going to be useful. Did I make my luck yet? I don't think I did. Nope. Now, it's a nice little lad. Uh, it looks like three days from now is going to be her nearest appointment. As there is a picture of a woman smiling and cheerful on the front of it. Um, but, you know, 
you're a man of the world with some technical skills and the yeah want uh, to maybe access a informant before the official scheduling's say you should yeah so um let's trace back this ad um using my technomancy and uh put myself into a uh a, a replace one of the slots i Do will a need hand. a tech <laughs> electronic sleight of hand yeah um i'm actually going to need a security test for you from you for that mm -hmm. uh security boom yep uh, let's see. What can I do here to make that not so bad? I got 35 merit. Uh... I'm about to say, because uh, that that's going to be an oof as you're going to start finding the anti-hacking stuff. Yeah. Let's do something right quick. Been so long since I brought up Silco, but let's just uh Okay. <sighs> Let us Security seven seven plus nine is sixteen. Sixteen plus eleven is uh twenty-seven, I do believe. What? 16. No, no. Oh, uh, how I'm getting two checks. I'm getting two checks worth. Uh, how, after... well, what, what are you, what are you at? Seven plus nine, which is going to be 16. 16. And then plus 11 should be 27. Yes. Okay. And I got 15 merit left. That should bring me up to, uh, 76. Um, Sorry, I'm just hearing you mutter numbers, and I'm like... I know, right? No context. Where, where we... It's like, what are, what are you trying to do, John? Um, can like, I, do... I I can try to help. I'm not great at math, but I can try to help if you if I know what your numbers mean. Let's do... Um, uh, let's see if I need it or not, because I want to get my int up, but I think it's going to cost me... A lot. It's going to cost me at least 20 uh, to put it up from 40 to 50. And I have 15. So I might be able to get what I want. Um, well, what is it that you want? I want to either A, uh, use mind select into security. All right. What are we aiming for with this? Uh, I was hoping for a bonus, to be honest, or maybe a reroll. Hmm. Okay, so... Hmm. Well, you do have Technomancy. You I do have could Technomancy. Actually start, this could be an opportunity to start building a power for it in regards to actual, you know, information hacking, if that's what you want to get into. Yeah, um... That, it depends on if that's what you want to start doing long, if you want to start getting more and more involved in the hacking thing. Because if you do, then this would be a good time to start building a power. If you would rather have this just be something you occasionally do because opportunity arises, maybe save it for because you only have so many power slots. Like there's it's only true. so many. I've only I only have one so far, which is promotion. Um, I'm gonna pop you over to your stats real mm -hmm. quick. Okay, so you since you did technomancy, yours is intelligence for your Correct. casting. Yeah. You only have four powers you can have for mm -hmm. your technomancy. Yep, I figured. So you do need to be a little strategic about what you want to buy. Right. Um, so yeah, if you want to have your technomancy start... Because so far you've been using a lot of it for gaining access to things. Yep, which I already have one power for that, pretty much. And at that point, you have two options that i'm going to present to you here mm -hmm. one if you like you could spend merit to start developing one now or option two 
there I was going to be setting up uh, things where you can locate trainers and the like, talk to them and get like baseline skills. Yep. And that does include base powers for things like technomancy, where you'll be able to get the base power for free and then you can save your merit for upgrading it because like i'm only going to be giving out like maybe five merit at the time for most sessions yeah i know so i want to make it so that you can get the base stuff without having to you know drop merit on it i'm, I'm trying to make like give you your the yeah, options for that sure. are um, best available at the moment with my max out security, I'm still going to be off by six um, mm -hmm. for int. Uh, what I could do is uh, go from forty to fifty, or at least put well, in. If you six. do want to do, if you do want to do the the select on security, mm -hmm. um, I would give you a talent that's just. I would do a talent that is, um, let's say, one reroll per session, specifically when hacking. If that's what you want. Uh, I will take that uh, for five points. Uh, I will warn you now, I'm going to be very picky about giving out reroll stuff. That's fine. Alright, select. And I can't spell security, but that's okay. S-E-C-U-R-I-T-Y. It's also on your sheet. You are. Let's see why. I was uh, looking at that, um, the advancements. That's all. Alrighty. Mm. Uh, let us try a reroll. Boom. All right. That is a uh, much, much bigger change. Yeah, you can get yourself something today. Kicking somebody else off of it, you don't know I who just, that it's is. Just, it's just, it's just a swap. It's just the swap. You're just kicking some dude off. I mean, he'll he'll be he'll be able to get his appointment in like three days. Yeah, I'm sure he won't a, be mad. There was a scheduling error. That's all it was. I'm sure he won't be mad, especially if he finds out it, who did it <laughs> and why they did it. Why would he have to be right? Right? Hey. Yeah, uh, you can get something in about mm, with a five. You can get something in. Let me rule four hours. Okay, sounds good. Still not immediate, but um, looking at the schedule, especially once you've kind of managed to get yourself further in the system than you're supposed to be allowed to, you'll notice that it is very stacked. This is a busy woman. Good for them. All right. Um, I'll tell Siri that um, I have an appointment with someone who can get us some information. Well, that's always useful. They're uh, listening to our phones, as, as always. So, Well, yes, we're on a space station. I mean, advertisers are always listening, right? That's actually something you're a little less used to because the Federation doesn't really do that, which is, you know, where you grew up. Mm -hmm. You've you've heard of it. It's just, you know, not usually something you you think about. Well, in yeah. the meantime, let's uh go explore. And she was like, sure. Explore. There's a bar. Mm -hmm. Here's a drink. Oh, so just so you know, this over here, mm -hmm. these are all little shops. 
I see. It's like some places selling food, some places selling like just little knickknacks. There's the little like one of them has clothes. It is a little, you know, if you don't want to go to the general store, you can just find the the random shit here. All right. Otherwise, like some of the side rooms do have like as you can see labels on them and that is like their actual signage which i do need to change colors so that they're not all the same color but you know whatever now siri the question is do you want to get drunk on an empty stomach or would you rather have food she's like i don't really get drunk much what with my shall we say augmentations and upgrades so no point. Um, substance, then. Unless I drink very, very heavily. We'll have to do that sometime. It's very expensive. When we have some money, we'll, we'll do that sometime. Well, I mean, since you have money, I mean... Yes, but priorities, right? Do you want to get drunk, or do you want to have some... Uh, some place to work on things. You're watching as she's genuinely considering the answer to that question. <laughs> I'm sure it's uh, been a while. Go ahead and roll me another little, uh, another little luck test. Yeah. Because there's, there's a thing that might happen, might not. Nate. Alright. As you guys are looking at food, looking at stalls, uh, this fine gentleman may, just kind of emerges from the crowd. He... I believe you could tell from the picture, but he is indeed a clown. Yeah. He has a big plate of spaghetti. He's Let's going see. to offer you a forkful. Smiling cheerfully. Uh, it, he's just going to be confused. Um, <laughs> why, hello there. Um, it's quite uh, nice for you to offer some... Gestures with the spaghetti fork. Uh, he's... He, he's not offering you the fork, he's offering to feed you, too. Uh, you're too kind. Um, never look, uh, never let a, uh, a clown holding a fork of spaghetti in the mouth um, that's offering me a gift. Um, sure, and he'll take a bite. You've accepted spaghetti's uh, clown spaghetti. Understood. Excuse me while I make a note. <laughs> I think I'm kidding. All right. And he's going to go ho 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 and then offer a fork full to Siri, notably not changing the fork. She's like, uh, no. Ho 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 ho, and then flees off into the crowd. And I do mean flee, as about uh, 30 seconds after he's out of your line of sight. Uh, the two security guards that were on standby come rushing through the crowd going, Did you see where he went? Um, he went that away, and he'll point in a random direction. <laughs> Damn clown! <laughs> Starts running after him. <laughs> One of them does pause. Neither of you ate it, right? What do you mean? Did you eat the spaghetti, man? Uh, why would I eat random spaghetti? <laughs> Good, keep it that way. And then sprints after his partner. Um, uh, uh, he'll look to Siri and say, I think I made a mistake. 
This station's weirder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I had no expectations, to be honest. So this was just like a, uh... You know, I, I have... I can't say I really had expectations so much as even without them, that was weird. Yep. Um... Unless that's not weird for you. Is that not weird for you? No, that is extremely weird. I'm going to have to check my systems to uh, see what I ingested. I might be dying. <laughs> what are you going to do if you're dying? Um, donate my body to science. Your body is science. <sighs> Good point. I mean, all bodies are science. The science of the body is fascinating. I agree. Um, Actually, can I have your body? You know, if you die. Yes, of course. Wonderful. I've always wanted to, dis to study the Leonin's inability to access psionics. It's very hard to get them to volunteer for anything. Yes, I'm curious if it's a good thing or a bad thing. What, the spaghetti? Oh, probably a bad thing. No, I meant the psionic. Oh, wait, you meant the psionic thing. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, she's just like, no, eating the spaghetti is definitely a bad thing. Oh, you meant, the, oh, yeah, no. Well, maybe that too. <laughs> there are more normal food stalls. Uh, congratulations on being the first to eat the spaghetti. Um, I'm sure it's been offered maybe a few times to other people. Nope. Oh. Not to the players. Not yet. You're the first. Oh, first cool. person to get offered it. First person to eat it. Congratulations. I have won the prize of uh, mystery meat. You, um, you have eaten spaghetti. Yep. <laughs> it's not meat. Well, I mean, it's got a little bit of meat sauce in it, but. Uh, can I order you anything, Siri? What was that? Can I order you anything? Not spaghetti. No, yeah, I know. I've, I was thinking maybe... Suddenly uh, I don't want spaghetti. Maybe some garlic bread. Ooh, is that a kebab stand? She's just going to go over to another thing and go get some kebabs. <laughs> I'll order some garlic bread for myself. <laughs> You're just gonna go find a place, and you're like, "Do you have garlic bread?" And they're like, "You met spaghetti. You met the spaghetti clown, didn't you?" No, no. I just I felt like it would go good. With Everybody, the... he puts <laughs> a hand on your shoulder. Everybody comes over here for garlic bread after the clown. It's it's a weird instinct that pops up as soon as you do. Uh, it's okay. You probably won't die. I don't know anybody that's ever died from him. Confused on why he's being chased, though. Maybe because he keeps offering people spaghetti. Um, well, for one, he never seems to change the fork. Oh. Uh, for two, he doesn't actually have a license to sell food on the station. Makes sense, for sure. Three, he's a clown. At least he didn't buy anything from him. My time, perhaps. Four, he's a clown. Yes, I got that. Yes. Five, he's a clown. Hmm. Apparently, that's the main reason security doesn't like him. I don't know why. It. They have a thing against clowns. Uh, I don't know. In, don't... in my past, uh, clowns were scary to some people. Well, we don't. Uh, we don't question it. Station management has declared the clown's not allowed to be here, but they can't catch him. So, what you gonna do? Yeah, Other than sure. watch security guards chase a clown again, uh, again. It it's a daily occurrence. We don't know where he hides. You guys check the, the vents. Yep. 
Also, the vents aren't big enough for a person. But have you ever heard the... She'll use his infused knowledge. Have you ever heard that clowns can get into very small spaces? Oh, clown cars, huh? Yeah. Funny. It's a known yeah, fact. It, it is known fact. Um, n We don't know. Hmm. Like, we don't know where the clown comes from. We don't know where the clown came from. We don't know where he goes. As far as we're, like, apparently, as far as people are aware, he never even entered the station. He just showed up here one day. Maybe he's a ghost. Ghost clown. You know, I'd believe it. Clown that died horribly on the station. Well, it's... whatever. Yeah. Enjoy the garlic bread. I'll give you the first one on the house since you got the clown. Ah, uh, I appreciate it. Just yeah. gobble up the garlic bread. <laughs> yeah. You ate the you ate the clown spaghetti. I did. Spaghetti clowns. Spaghetti clowns spaghetti. I expect my character to die in the next two sessions. I mean, if it does, we will blame the clown. Of I don't know if that's I necessarily. I don't know <laughs> if that's necessarily true. <laughs> However, <laughs> I've, I've never let something being true or false stop you from accusing it of killing you anyway. Righty. <laughs> Um, yeah. You, you getting food, walking around, exploring a bit, it, it's not hard to kill four hours. For sure. It's just not. Um. Do you want to wander around and look at the other shops? Because there's only. I think you've only missed. No, you're, you're basically in line of sight of all of the, the named shops. Because the Doomco office is down here. Uh, one sec. I'm gonna zoom out. Do that one more time. It's down this way. To okay. the left. Um, the Doomco offices are down. Are are just down this way, and then you know otherwise, like there, there, you've seen most of the map already. So I'm not gonna mm -hmm. fuck around with you on it. It's just a nice little. It's just a nice little area. Star Strider Industries. Yes. So you have learned uh, you've learned a couple things about them, actually, especially since you're a management like on the management track. Um, Doomco and Star Strider Industries are very close uh, corporate ties mm -hmm. as they make well they don't make, but they acquire most of Doomco's uh, ores for them. They are one I of the see. biggest mining conglomerates in the galaxy. Which is why they own the station. <laughs> Makes sense. They did own the station. They... Oh, right, right. It was bought out by someone else that owned. Right, right, right. Yeah, it was bought out by one of their contractors after he found a absolute shit ton of the quantum crystals needed for FTL communication. Like, right, he found right. an entire asteroid full of them, and they were just like... What do you want for it? How much do you want for the claim? And he's like, I want this station. They're like, done. That's cheaper than the old claim. Yep. <laughs> no one knows why he undersold. And he wanted the station, so he got a station. Do we... Have we... Mm, maybe. And that's, this is just a conspiracy theory. Maybe the guy that owns the station is the clown. Maybe he's the clown. Oh, that doesn't make sense, because he banned clowns. Is he trolling his own security? Sounds like a thing a clown would do. It sounds like a thing a clown would do. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that, that's about it. Yeah, I'll go check out the Doomco office, pretty much. Oh, yeah, you... I think I'm here. Uh, nope, that's the security. That's actually main security for the station. 
This is where you go if you have problems. You go security. There it is. That's right. Yes. The one full of the people in Doomco armor. Mm -hmm. So you do you want to go visit your coworkers? Mm, not really. You don't need to. It's not really <laughs> necessary. You're going to meet them. Yeah, exactly. Might as well like have a little bit of free time. You're you're not going to have a choice in meeting them. You might mm. as well take your time doing so. Otherwise, and lots of flora, uh, though. This is nice. Oh yes, it is. Uh, the station has some very fresh air for a station, and you're used to so much recycling. But um, like you're you're used to that that very stale recycled air smell, and yeah. this is just this is just the cleanest air you've ever had on a space station. That's all. So he's like, this place is. Honestly, nice enough. Like, I was kind of expecting it to be a bit... Eh? But it's not. So I'll go sit down. Smell the, uh... Smell the flowers? Smell the, smell the roses. Um, so I take it you want to shuffle on to your meeting, yes? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> All right. So, shuffling right along to the meeting, um, you will find yourself... Go ahead and move yourself down to where you saw mm -hmm. the mine consultation. Or I can move you if you like. That's okay, I'm over my way. I'm just going to drop Siri over there so you can just meet her. And let's move token. You'll get a reminder one hour before the meeting, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Is this the communication pad to get in? Yep. So when you're like, when you get there, uh, it's, you know, you type in your appointment number, it processes things, goes, all right, you're supposed to be in right now, and lets you in. As you kind of, as you enter, I'm actually going to grab you, move you in, because the door does lock after you. Okay. You're going to find her sitting there at her chair. Uh, there are copious amounts of no smoking signs around the station that she is currently in her office blatantly ignoring. I see. Yep. And it's just, hello, welcome, welcome. Please come in. Thank you why for don't us. why don't we start this lovely little meeting with the question of why you changed my schedule? Uh, because if you thought I wouldn't notice, then I don't know why you would think that. No, I was hoping you would notice. I was hoping yeah. to show off my skills and at the same time show yours. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. The name you put on this is Silco. According to what I've pulled up, you are Dumco Security. A medical specialist, to be particular. That would be correct. However, most of your records begin with Dumco, Which means we've left somewhere in a hurry, have we? Yes, my my past is uh, not my favorite thing in the world. This is my uh, my new life. Mm, Doomsday no security. No doubt. So, Mister Silco. Yes. What is it I can do for you? My associate and I, Siri. Are looking for yes, Siri. Wanted by the oh, I accidentally grabbed the name of her fucking business. Pulled it in with you guys. She's like, yes, Siri, former archaeologist for the Alliance. She's like, yep. Hmm. Currently wanted for theft of artifacts. Not so accurate. 
All right, I don't know how to deal with that. Moving along. Hopefully you can just deal with me instead. Well, that's the plan now. Now that her answer is to just very cheerfully admit to the crimes yes, she's committed. Yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> I was hoping right. to uh, have a place available somewhere as we can, where I can store things and work on projects. You're looking for a private space. That would be correct. Okay. What sort of a private space are you looking for? Is there something in particular? If you have one that was a previously a medical lab, that would be ideal. Well, you know, to say I have it is a very relative thing. I know people who can get you it. I'm a middle woman. I sit in the middle of things, I make connections, and I send people to the right people. That's what I do. Of course. And for a... a luxury, you can put me in the right places. Exactly. Because at the end of the day... It's worth a lot more to know who to talk to about these things than it is to, you know, actually have these things. Especially when asking these types of questions can get you weird looks. Exactly. So, you want building, medical, all that jazz. Yes, all right. please. All right. Um, yeah. I know who you can talk to about it. Uh, my fee, however, for making the connections, especially since I'm going to be making the introduction for you. Yes. To, so they know that you're not uh, going to rat them out or anything. Your The fee I'm going to charge... Let's see. Doomco usually does everything within credits, don't they? Let's go with... 300 credits? It's not too bad. Of course not. That would be basic quite sufficient. And yes, it's a basic introduction. I could do more than just introduce if you wanted to pay me extra, but... Um... Very well. Um, how about 550 credits total, then? Be a nice tip. <laughs> well, if that's what you want to do as a tip, but uh, if you want my actual services, you'd have to be particular as to what you're looking for. Are you looking for me to get a put a, put in a good word for you, or...? Hmm. And I can guarantee that this will be private between... The transaction release would be private. The introduction, I would also like to be private. The introduction is going to be as private as all parties involved can make it. After all, the station management doesn't actually want people to have anything off the books. Of course. And I presume what you're asking for would be very off the books. Yes? Silco will nod and say, If that's already included, and I appreciate that. It is already included. Um, that said, it's... The person I'm going to introduce you to is one that very much doesn't want anybody knowing what they're up to. They can get you what you're looking for in the right spaces, but your privacy and their privacy are what's going to be paramount here. Their privacy is going to take a bit more precedence over yours, however, of course. as they are important to the station's general operations, shall we say? Hmm. 
After all, everybody needs spaces like this. It's true. And having somebody that can actually get them for you is not the easiest. I like right. this. I'll... Let him I'll know. Make the let the let the clients know what I'm capable of. I was going to say, I'll make the introduction. I'll get them prepped for you. And I'll put in a recommendation to give you a reasonable price. There's only so much I can do on that front, as the, the other is going to, you know, charge what they charge. I don't control their prices. Of course. But I can at least put in the good word for you. That would be appreciated. And Silco will um, do the transfer of 550 credits. All right. Money moved. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I am down to, after that, 400. Uh, no, wait. I'm going to do one wrong. So 550, 600, and 1,600. Okay. Let me see. She's going to, to nod as you had to transfer things over. She definitely checks the money on you. Mm -hmm. And once she's everything's confirmed, she's just going to clap her hands together and go, All right. I'll get things in motion. Um, yeah, I'll get things in motion. We will reconvene once I have a time for you to meet with them. Um, just so you are aware in advance, mm -hmm. the meeting is not going to be during the day. That's fine. Yes. As long as you understand that and you're okay with it and everything's okay. Then we're all fine here, right? Now, before I go, it yes. wouldn't be improper to ask something else, would it? Well, you've already paid quite a hefty fee. Uh, as long as you're not asking for too much, I wouldn't mind answering another question or two. Of course. I'm looking for someone who can guide me in some technical matters. Technical in what fashion? Technomancy. Oh. Oh, that's not too hard. Um, you work for Doomco, right? I do. Honestly, your cheapest route is to go through them, then. All right. Uh, I could recommend somebody, if you want to keep the knowledge of your skills off the books, they would end up charging you quite a bit, as technomancers are... In demand and very expensive. Yes. And teaching you would, as far as they're concerned, be teaching competition. Regardless of if you're actually planning to compete with them. You know? Understandable. Yes, yes, of course. So your cheapest option is to just go through your company. Otherwise, and she'll actually write a name down and hand it over to you. Contact them. Take a pick. I don't. That one, I'm not going to charge you for. That 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 gentleman is not so much a friend; it's just an acquaintance. But um, he's reliable. All right. Not a very patient man, though. I find that I find it very amusing that he's impatient, given that he's uh, you know, works with computers. Technology. Computers go fast. I understand. I understand where he's coming from, at least. Well, there you are. Was there anything else? Um, Silco's gonna think to himself. Um, the only thing yeah. I can think of is to 
but I've pretty much already said it is to offer my services when they come in handy. Um, but you've already said that. And yeah, I don't she's... think I need to. Yeah, hmm. like you, she's she's a she's a broker. You're yeah. you're fairly certain that that's already been added to some sort of file on yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. So you've already said that you're you're probably already gooch on that front. Yep. Just trying to see where Silco's ambition lies for more. Um, that, that is the question. Where does Silco's ambition lie? What does he already, want to do with his life? Wants to make money. Everybody right wants now. to make money. <laughs> Making money is just a part of life. You're, that's why you're in Doomco, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, also because you had to get off the planet, and they were the best option. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. Last question. This will be it. If I was, say, looking for a supplier... That could help. Uh, uh, Silco will. Uh, Silco will say, "How do I want to word this? I want to word this correct." Um, how do I want to word this? It doesn't sound like I'm going to destroy the station. <laughs> Um, how do I make this sound <laughs> less illegal somehow? <laughs> yes, that's that's the word. Um, if I was looking for a supplier of medical supplies, medical supplies, yes, chemicals and whatnot. You'll have to be a little more specific about what you're looking for. Okay. Uh, Silco will... Lot of, she's like, there's a lot of different chemicals and the like that can be found. Of course. Are we talking recreational? Constructive? Genuine medical? What do we? You're gonna have to be particular here. No, for sure. Um, Silco will take out his data pad and kind of just uh, do a little tap tap and uh, bring up some uh, some compounds of the. Uh... By the way, roll me a scrutiny. By the way, of course. Scrutiny. Ah, uh, one sec, one sec. I think scrutiny is a good skill to have, especially as a uh, Doomco employee. Doomco for all your world domination needs. Scrutiny, five points. So you, you're buying scrutiny then, so you don't yes. have the, the negatives? I pass. I'm not having it. Yeah. Okay. Um, she definitely thinks you mean drugs. She a hundred percent is assuming you're either selling, making, or trying to acquire for recreational use drugs. Uh, no, Silco is going to um, uh, put some examples of the the drone compound for the um, uh, the matriarch. For the the what? So, uh, oh, you're talking the, about for the uh, the boss, the the, yeah. the the yeah, the tyrant. She's going to look over your request. A long moment. That's a lot of hefty chemicals. Yes, um, that's some weird chemicals. That would be even more just to get started. Okay. Um, I can see what I can do. 
Uh, I don't know anybody that's going... I'm going to have to look these up and see. Tell you what. I'll... I'll put this in as an information request once I've figured out how hard it is to get you connected to the right people, because I don't know anybody off the top of my head for this. Um, I'll get back to you. Of course. And I would appreciate that. Because you, you... Silco won't be surprised by that answer. A lot of them are very esoteric chemicals that even you don't normally work with. Yeah, exactly. Some of them, you don't even know how they're related to the growth of the tyrant. Like, you just don't. You're, like, nope. looking at it, and you're like, how it's this got to do with a biological being? You know what? Whatever. I guess that'll do. He's just like, yeah. Um, I'll get the meeting arranged for your workspace. She's still looking at it. At the, the list you've given her. She's mm -hmm. like, I'll oh, get a meeting arranged for your workspace. Um, and I'll shoot you a message once the contact is ready. I appreciate that. Now, I don't wish to take up more of your time, but uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. Weird list. Okay, yep, I'll look into this. This, I'll definitely look into. Um, and I won't charge you until I know one way or another as to... I think it was much. Then, yeah. Anyway. Was there anything else? No, that would be it. Um, thank you again for your information. It's very helpful. I'm glad to hear it. It is my job, after all. Of course. Have a lovely day, then. You as well. And I will shuffle yeah. you on out. Thank you, thank so you. Like... So, that was neat. We it's got been a while since I talked to a, uh, you know, information specialist. They are... Quite something. You're right. Hard to come by. Good ones, at least. Oh, yeah. Most of them, they uh, would rather sell you out than sell you anything. You know? Good thing we found one that doesn't. I hope. Well, hopefully the, uh, the tip wasn't too... Too less. Too small? Too small, yes. I mean, are you, uh, do you have a problem with the tip being too small? I have no problem with walking. my tips. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Liam. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to get done. Um... Well, I do got a couple other things for you. For okay. one, the meeting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get that done real quick. Okay. Um, you'll actually be meeting uh, once you have everything, uh, like once once everything's in motion and da-da-da. The person you're going to be me meeting is a Lieutenant Moon, who Lieutenant is Moon. in charge of the night shift on security. Oh. Which would explain why she very much doesn't want anybody to know about her extracurricular activities. <laughs> For sure. That'll be happening that evening. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. You will be asked to meet her at the bar after hours. Sounds good. Um, I would uh, make the introduction with the Technomancer, but at the same time, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to be low on cash after the initial meeting with this individual. So, Oh, likely. Yeah. So if you want to head over to the bar. All righty. I remember my way. I'm just getting, I'm using that as an excuse to have you doing shit mm -hmm. while I get things arranged. That is completely reasonable, Liam. 
because the evening staff for that part is just kind of well things are slightly different at the bar at night especially when there's a meeting as you're passing by guards as you're passing by her crew really mm -hmm. and I'll pop up her name as the aforementioned Lieutenant Jane Moon. And as you kind of walk into the bar, which you, according to the hours, definitely should be closed. So, you know. You find her there, and the bartender's still there, serving her a drink. And she'll kind of see you come again, wave you over promptly. So I don't know her name. Did, did I get a, a name with the dossier? Yeah. Or okay, good, good, good. Lieutenant Jane Moon. It should be visible now. Yep. No, it is. It is for sure. I just wanted to double check on that. So, um, yep. You were day. you were given her name. Oh, good evening. I suppose. Evening. I hear you're looking to get yourself a private space here on the station. That would be much appreciated. And he'll go to sit down. My name is oh. Silco. Did you want Siri to come along with you for it? That's the question. Uh, I'm going to say she should stay out while I do the talking. <laughs> uh, is this because you're confident that she is not a particularly negotiating person? Because she's really not. Well... You, uh, you took the words out of my mouth, Liam. Yeah, she's 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 just not very good at this whole. She's good at what she does. She, um... yeah, and that's it. <laughs> she's good at what she does. And that's it. <laughs> well, she's just uh, Moon's just gonna be like, sit, have a drink, on me. Oh, you're too kind. Soko As that say, tells you this is going to be a very expensive trip. Yeah. So, tell me about your needs. What are you looking for? Don't worry about Mr. Monrad here. He won't... Uh, he won't... He'll keep your secrets, just as he keeps everybody's. Isn't that right, Monrad? And the bartender doesn't say anything. Let's get down to business, then. I'm just looking for a lab, per se. A medical lab that could be has sanitation and allows me to work in peace. Work in peace. Okay. So you want it to be out of the way. You want it to be quiet, clean, and... How well stocked are you looking for this lab? Or are you going to stock it yourself? I was planning on stocking it myself. I don't I don't need uh, the most advanced equipment. I just need something base that I can build up from. Alright, alright. She's like, I have a space that you could use for these rather unspecified uh, needs of yours. Of course. Hmm. At that point, it's a question of price, really. Of course. I'm not going to pry into why you want any of this. I don't. Honestly, I don't care. As long as you don't blow up the station, anyway. You're not going to blow up the station, are you? No, I will not be not handling un explosives. You're not going to unleash a plague upon us that's going to melt people in their beds? I really hope not. I'm a biologist. You know that look of somebody that... Uh, you've just answered a question for that's like why did you answer it that way 
is you answered the question of you're not going to melt us, right? With I hope not. And she's like, really? There will be no melting. There will be no burning. There will be no bodily harm to other individuals. It's not what I'm looking to do. Yeah. All right. Um, it had better not, because then it will be my problem again. Of I don't course. want you to become my problem. I, I want to get you a rental space, and I want it to no longer be an issue. I just want to get a regular payment from you. And nothing else. I don't want to hear about your work. I don't want to hear that you've unleashed some horrible monstrosities onto the station that I'm going to have to kill. You know, before or after I kill you, who knows? Of course. So don't be my problem. I'm going to sell you a space, and you will not be my problem. Mr. Biologist. Right, so. Ha! Huh. Medical space, you're going to be getting most of your own equipment. You only want the very basics. Um, typically speaking, I do for something like that. Let me do some. I'm going to have to do some math real quick myself. As the GM, give me three seconds. Because I normally, for that, especially with the whole privacy thing, I do about 6,000 Alliance a month. Okay. Um, so, for out of character, Silco would know Alliance um, to... Alliance cat. Alliance bills uh, conversion from lines bills to credits. That's 600 credits. Okay. So, 600 credits a month. Yeah. Um, Silco will say, I understand. Um, first that, first that, month and last month. She's like, first and last, of course. Which uh, Siri will send you money for part of this. So at least you, you can have somebody to split the cash with. Okay. Uh, how much is she going to uh, send me? Oh, she's going to do half. Oh, she's gonna do she's little like, half. Okay, okay, perfect. She's like, perfect. You're, you're, if I'm gonna, she's like, if I'm gonna have half this, I'm gonna be paying for half of it, but it's gonna be half mine. No, that's the plan. Um, so, yeah. uh, Silco will transfer over the funds, which, you know, at that point, you're doing twelve hundred at the start for your credits. Mm -hmm. But you will accept credits for this. Perfect. I subtract the 600 from my uh, credit holdings, and um, yeah, and complete. then going forward, it'll be 300 a month, which, you know, that's most of your paycheck. Yeah. And she'll confirm the cash, and she's like, great, and hands you a station ID. Perfect. Um, and she's like, now get out of my sight. Very well. And I appreciate the drink. Yeah. I'll finish it off and uh, walk out. Alright. And did I get... Did I finish getting the lighting set up on this? Yes, I did. Cool. Uh, roll me a D2 to see which of these... Because I've got two spaces here. Roll me a D2 to see which one you end up with. And D2. Actually, no. Yeah, oh. no. Go for it. Let's see. All right, I know which one you're going to end up with then. So you're going to be directed through sections of the station towards an unused medical room. Boop, nice. boop, boop, boop. It is one that is kind of got... There's been a lot of expansions and stuff, so it's kind of been put off from... It's kind of just gotten forgotten in the shuffle of shit. Mm -hmm. 
damage. I will put you here. It's do, 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 the one directly in front of you. Oh. This one here. Um, there is a little bit of finicking to get to it. There's, um, I meant to have a bunch of boxes piled in front of it. And it's just a little medical room. Nice. And just there, he's like, oh, cozy. Should we've gotten something bigger? So should this work for now? Well, I mean, if we got something bigger, it'd be more expensive, right? It's true. Yes, I'm good. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with cozy. As this place, like, it's got the two tubes there, mm -hmm. but everything's wrapped in plastic. It it clearly hasn't been accessed in a long time. And the only indication that anybody's been in here is there's a few prints on the desk where somebody visited for some Poor boy. activities. Yes, 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 yes. Good for them. Nice. Oh, And she's just, all right, well, you know what? This works. And now you have a little medical section. Now get a little medical section. And there right. is one last thing for you if you have time. Um, is this the Technomancer? No. Ooh. This is different. Okay. The Technomancer, if, well, it depends. Do you want to go to the Doomco Technomancer? If you want to go to the Doomco Technomancer, we can do that. But I actually had something different that I wanted for you. Oh, let's do that. I wanted to yeah, let's... do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've got time. i got time. you got another All half right. an hour, Emilium. Shouldn't take uh, much longer than that. I shouldn't. At least I wouldn't expect it to. So. It's actually going to be that evening as you've kind of gotten your space, you kind of settle in, and it's like fi things are finally moving in a, a direction. You're, mm -hmm. you're finally starting to get things together. And you're actually going to have a dream that you haven't had in a long time. Oh. You're going to dream about school. It's been a while since you did that. It's been a long time since you uh, remembered those old hallways. Walking down them, moving past students, classrooms. It's been a long time. And as you're dreaming, you'll find yourself making your way to your old classes. To your old classrooms, your old stomping grounds, familiar places. And you're going to arrive at what used to be your classroom. Okay. It's, you can see from the door that it's empty, except for a figure that seems to be working on the board, drawing things. No, not drawing, writing. Even from here, you can recognize some of them. Chemical compounds. Familiar chemical compounds. You recognize them as the same chemical compounds that you're starting to experiment with now. Hmm. And at this point in the dream, you have the agency to make your decision of what you would like to do moving forward. Okay. You could just walk away. Uh... So faces are important in dreams. Um, yes, they I'm, are. I'm going to uh, see who's writing on the board, and I'm going to also um, be aware of the writing to see if there's any changes from my um, uh, my talent here should come into play of um, talent of total recall. Um, I see if there's any changes to the chemical compound uh, formulas to what this person is is writing. Um, so it is my memory, okay. after all, my thoughts. The chemical my... compounds are definitely different from the ones that you have up currently. Okay. 
they there's some things that have actually been removed from it and a few things that have been added it's more it's more streamlined okay. except for the like at least what you see looking at it it looks like the chemical compound that you like the one that you can actually see is the one for the drones right so it looks like a lot of the extra stuff that was left in there just because you weren't wholly positive what out of these chemicals they were pulling. Mm-hmm. That's what you're looking at is it minus the extra chemicals. Right. And as for your question about faces, cause you did ask about that. Mm-hmm. Um, the figure at the board, you can't focus on their face. What you do know is that's not the professor. Not the one that ran this class. Too short. Or too tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both? It's odd. It feels very dream logic if they just never seem to be the right size. I will uh, go and sit down at that point. So you will enter the classroom? Yeah. Okay. You push your way in, and you see that each of the boards has the chemical structure on there. Different ones available. You see the one for the soldier, the one for the administrator. The one he's working on currently is the tyrants, by the looks of it. Or is that she? It seems to shift, and as you enter, the head will turn slightly, and you realize that what looked like a person in shadow is more of a person made of shadow. And it will speak. Take a seat, won't you please, Doctor? I'll just be a moment. Okay, so I thought this might have been a psychic echo from the my previous encounter with the tyrants. So, yeah... Um, yeah. Silco's not, uh, actually, no, Silco would be, um, surprised at this, um, especially the voice. Um, the voice wasn't there last time. Um, that, that's definitely not the, vo- the last voice you heard from the tyrants. Tell yeah. you what. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, and, uh, Silco will take the seat. You will take a seat though. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you will watch as the figure continues working on the board and actually finishes the chemical structures they were drawing up. Watch as they'll put their hands on their hips, almost looking satisfied. And then they'll turn around and move to the front of the professor's desk and sit on it. It's hard to tell whether or not the character is male or female. It almost shifts between the two as you're watching. Maybe some aspect of the twins here. And noted, the biggest noted thing about it is, because the face itself is formless. There's not anything to look at there. It's Mm -hmm. just the vague implications of a face. Which means you can only focus on the eyes. There's six of them stacked on top of each other. And as you're studying them, they'll smile and reveal shockingly white teeth, especially for that face. Well, thank you very much for indulging me for the moments it took me to finish this. I wanted to offer these as a gift. And uh, Silco will kind of just um, nod to that and say, I thought I already got a gift from you. Mm-hmm. Gift of life. <laughs> oh, apologies. You're mistaking me for someone else. I am, actually. You must be um, someone. I don't even know me. There would be no reason for you to know me. No one knows me. That's kind of the point, you see. Mm. Not that I'm a fan of that particular point, but still. Mm. 
May I ask why you're in my head? Your dream. Our dread is different streams. We are uh, a portal to other places, uh, the realms of spirits and the soul and the like. Your mind, though, that is yours and yours alone. I can't really poke into too much. You were actually having this dream before I came here. I just borrowed aspects of it so that I could have this conversation with you. You're not easy for me to get a hold of, per se. Might be something to do with the psychic dampening. No, no. No. It's more because you're not connected to yourself so much. Not uh, anymore, at least. Good point. Right, so, introduction. So, at least a basic introduction. Uh, you can call me the Forgotten. It's a title as much as it is a name. I'm here because you are lonely. Surrounded by people and yet nobody knows who you are. Even if you're ignoring it, it's a lonely existence, isn't it? Soko will um, half half nod, kind of just like it is as you say. I'm sympathetic to that. I understand what it's like to be alone and abandoned by those you thought friends and allies. I mean, how many of you are I will admit I don't know the details. I do know that many of your once colleagues seem to be hunting for you, searching for you. Heretic and thief, I believe, is the phrase that's being thrown about. We had different opinions on things. It's a shame, isn't it? When different opinions drive you away from those that you thought as friends. We all... Mm. Okay, freedom of that. choice. Of course. And the freedom of choice is important in life. If you don't have the freedom to make your choices, then... Well, you're not really living, are you? No, you're not. In one body or the next, you are not. I don't know the details beyond what I've already said. I know that... I, I can feel what's relevant to what you could consider my realm of responsibility, but I don't know the details if you're worried about anything like that. I don't know why exactly they're hunting you, what you did. Um, other, though I can make a guess since your body's not your own and your soul is rather tenuously connected to it at this time. But I'm not here to judge you for that. No, no. I'm here offering you these. Is it a gesture? Yeah, as he gestures to the uh, to the boards. I'm offering them as a gesture of my goodwill. Silco will nod to that and say, I appreciate the gift. What would you like in return for this gift? It's a gift. You don't take things back for gifts. You don't you don't ask a price for a gift. But a this free is, gift That is what a gift is. Anybody that gives you a gift and then charges you with selling you something, not giving you a gift. I understand. 
I am becoming a businessman, so it is just in my nature to, to ask. I know, I understand. Asking if there's a price is fair enough. But this is truly a gift. Nothing left, nothing more. Now, the reason I'm offering this gift is because I would like us to be friends. I do have offers, of course, more business-related things if you wanted to do business, I suppose. But honestly, I was hoping to make this a little less transactional than that. I don't like transactions. They're too... Introductions have been made. And if you can find me now, I'm sure you'll find me again where we can talk about those sorts of things. I can, yes. We can certainly discuss things. Maybe. You see, I have limitations as to how much I can communicate with people. There is certain requirements for it. You meet all of them, but your soul is so tenuously connected that it makes it difficult nonetheless. So, I would like to offer another gift, if you'd be willing to accept it. This one's a little bit more complicated, so I will answer any questions you have in regards to it, as you are to make your decision in form. I would like you to offer you the gift of two things, in addition to what's here on the board. One, of not being alone anymore, of being able to find people who are sympathetic to you, and, of course, my own company being offered on hand. Though, whether or not that's to your preference is really a personal choice that you have to make for yourself. The second part of the gift is my assistance as much as I can offer it in your research. I know that you are dissatisfied with what you are. It's written all across you. You want to be more, and you want to be better. I understand that. Your focus is on making your body better. You're changing who and what you are. I'd like to help. If you would be willing to let me, at least. You've brought up that my soul is tenuous. It is, yes. Maybe me thinking that the body and the mind are what I should have been focusing on. But if I'm losing out in the soul, I might be missing out. You know what? How can I put this? To say that you're missing out isn't quite accurate. What's more accurate is to say that what you've done has caused a disconnect between your soul and the rest of you. Your body doesn't really compute with it. Your soul doesn't really understand what you've done. And that makes your connection to it frighteningly loose. It's not a horrible danger, per se, until it is, anyway, and that's kind of the issue. Uh, not to put too fine a point on it, but when you are this disconnected, it usually results in death. So uh, I'm not just a quick death, either. a slow, painful one. Um, try, I don't really want to scare you, but I 
I, I don't think you really understand how damaging what you did was. If you give it time, it will heal, yes. Yes. But that takes time. And you are already looking to change again. Aren't you? And that will take time to do. But I think I've... you're a clever person. I don't think it'll take you that long. But I have a question, then. If yes. Are these um, assistances that you offer, will they help in this aspect, then? It will allow me to assist you more directly. Right now, the best I can do is talk to you as we are now. Dreams. Where your connection to me is the strongest, as this is where you... Remember the times where you are, you were happiest, and you mourn for their loss a little. That's where I can actually contact you best. If you accept the gift, I can simply discuss it. On your own terms, of course, when you want to talk to me. Another alternative would be to create an altar of some sort and uh, do something a bit more religious to try and contact me, but I didn't think that would appeal. Same. Hmm. The gift I'm offering is, uh, I call it a sea. If you nurture it, it grows and becomes more. But otherwise, it is merely something that I will give to you where you can speak with me and others that are, well, like you, seeking other people who understand, people that are lonely like you, that, that need companionship that they haven't been able to find in their lives. It is a community that I'm building. But it's simply, and I would like to offer you a place in that community. And of course, I will offer what assistance I can with your research. I have an understanding of the body that is rather thorough. I also have access to answers to certain questions that you have, like the twins that you met, for example. I don't have all the answers about them, but I do know quite a bit that I can offer. They are old beings created by the Father, for example, and they are beings who were... How should I put this? Their species was changed into a new one. All Is that hubris. And that was of their own accord, to change into a new one? No. No. It was a curse placed on them. They won't find any more of them out there. It's just the two. And they won't answer your questions. They will consider you a lesser to be... And that's done with as necessary. Understandable. Not really. It's kind of what they were. It's part of what they were punished for in the first place. You'd expect them to have learned from their mistakes, but here we are. Forgotten. What is your relationship with the father? Tenuous at best. No, we're. This that doesn't make me sound horribly evil. That's the problem with uh, discussing my relationship with the father. Anything I can say makes me sound horribly evil when put into words. 
I am a depository, a repository of sorts for them. Um, I am a, a being that contains many of the things the father didn't want in himself any longer. Cast aside because they weren't a being. I will admit that I am a being that is full of the worst things of life because that is what I was given as my quote-unquote gift. I am loneliness and pain and sorrow. That's not who I was, however. Before I was given that, I was somebody else. I was somebody very different. And I was offered that as a way to continue to be. I was uh, effectively given the choice between that or destruction. And given the choice, I made my decision. He wanted a scapegoat, something where he didn't have to be these terrible things. I wanted to live. Compromise was found. As a part of that, I've gotten a bit of a shall we say, voice change. Apparently they didn't want to make my life easy. Silco will uh, stand up and say, I appreciate, <clears throat> I appreciate the lesson. And your community is something I would like to be in. Oh, well, all right then. And with that, he will actually offer you a little nugget of black to you. It's the okay. same black that he seems to be made of. They seem to be made of. Not sure if gender matters to this creature. And do you accept it? Is the question. I do. All right. He will look absolutely delighted. Well, thank you very much for being so willing to uh, give me a chance. And I welcome you to my little community. Um, as a first gift, I will ensure that you will be able to locate others who have joined us. That way, you have people to confide in more. Yes. Would you still like me to address you as the Forgotten? Its title name both, um... I have a name, but I'm not really allowed to use it, so I'll leave it at that for now. Well, maybe once I've gotten a bit more power into me, I'll be able to actually address people as my f actual name. But until then, um, I'll be stuck with what I'm stuck with. I'm very pleased that you've joined us, Silco. Or is there a different name you would prefer? Silco is my name now. Until I choose another, this is what you can call me. Very well, Silco. Welcome. I will leave you to your dreams now, as we will be able to talk more appropriately in the waking world moving forward. Good was... night, Silco. I appreciate that. I will study what you left in the meantime. Oh, please do, please do. And sleep well, yes. Good night's sleep is all one can ask for. <laughs> and with that, you will be left to your dreams. Good stuff. Uh, add to your sheet the dark seed. The dark seed. Yes. Uh, gear. 
You will actually... Nope, it's not gear. Oh, this is a journal thing or a trait. If you actually look in the merit section, uh, you'll find that in there. If you scroll on down, it's mixed in uh, just below Technomancy, the Divine Blessing. Yep, yep. inside of the character is a sea granted by a dark god. Grants the ability to see in even unnatural darkness and communicate psychically with other dark seeds or individuals. The seeds bound themselves by a ritual cannot be combined with primal, divine, or arcane powers. Cool, cool. Yes. Uh, there will be one addition that is attached to it. They, like off of his uh, offer there where he was like, oh yeah, and I'll make it so that you can locate others. Mm -hmm. And that is that you will be able to sense other dark seeds within people. That'll be a free upgrade that's attached to it. Well, I guess you will I have... will do the same thing I did with Technomancy and make it its own thing. I would suggest it because mm -hmm. this is something you can add powers to. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so you're effectively going to have a first upgrade in the form of that, um, of the ability to identify others. Mm -hmm. The range limit on that is rather short. You actually have to see them directly. Okay. You that's can, up, you can upgrade that later on. That's just how it starts. Yep. And that's it. That's that, that the last bit I had. Oh, cool. Got and I also, you do. Also, I hid your door for your medical lab behind some shit so that now it's a I little less. I thought that's what you were working here. on. Cool, cool. Well, I wasn't really working on it. I just kind of threw it together. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I saw I, you working with tokens and I was like, hmm. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing is I was just getting it set up where you actually, like, you can change the lock code on the door and shit so people can't just come in. Yeah, and have sex. You know, that's a good call. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, since apparently people were using this for that. Unsanitized. I thought she said this place was clean. Yeah, well, you still <laughs> ended up with it. She was yeah. like, eh, he's clean enough. Clean enough, yeah. That's like... Well, there you are. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I uh, hope you had fun with it. I did. That was, uh... Yeah. Next session is going to be fun. <laughs> Should be nice and to learn about spaghetti. some. Yeah. I ate the spaghetti. <laughs> and you ate the spaghetti. I wasn't expecting you to actually eat the spaghetti off the spaghetti plate. Congratulations. Uh, you know what? When in Rome, uh, eat, the, eat the Italian meatballs. Um, went, on, went on Aeon Terminal. <laughs> went on Aeon Terminal. All right. Well, thank yeah. you very much for your time. I hope you had fun. Mm -hmm. um, there will be some more general little upgrade stuff that I'm going to have set up for the in-between mission stuff, where it's going to be like... I, I started building the chart for it. I'd have to go double-check it as I just closed terminal without thinking about it. But it's stuff like if you spend a week working out in the gym, you'll get plus two to a physical stat type of thing. Cool, cool. Um, I plan to have like a thing for like if you're going to be working on powers and stuff with a trainer. Um, the personal, like the, the the private trainer that's off the books, would be very expensive to go through. I'm going to warn you now. I know it. Like, uh, it's going to be a couple hundred credits per lesson. Um, so it's a question if you want to really want to hide it from Doomco that badly or not. If I, you don't want to, then they can just provide you a trainer. I think I will go through Doomco because I've already like expressed of my powers to Doomco also within the mandatorial training, um, or just the training in general. Like that was kind of shown instead of me trying to hide it. So I think I will go through Doomco to do that. It's completely your own decision as mm -hmm. to what you want to do on that front. I'm just trying to make it clear that, you know... If I want privacy, it's going to be expensive, I know. Exactly. And, yeah. like, a lot of what Doomco offers for training services would be very expensive if you weren't in Doomco, where they're, they're effectively paying for it already. Yeah, exactly. And it's just uh, they're paying for an asset. They're increased 
capability. Exactly. They're, yep. They're paying to see their assets be the best they can be. Yep. And with that, um, I let you go. Oh, you have a good night, man. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Thanks, thanks for the session, and uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah.